everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you two tips for tomorrow's horse race in action. Now before we get stuck into them I quickly just want to reflect on how our tips performed today. In the end it was a good day here on my YouTube channel as we had a wedding nap at Lingfield. That was Luna Shadow who got the job done for us for Holly Doyle and Alan King was advertised on my YouTube channel last night at 15 to 2. Had a little bit of market support today, went off around about 11 to I think final SP, but still was a good result for us. I thought Holly Doyle gave him a perfect ride, was just there tracking the pace, didn't want to get involved early on because he had a couple of free gun sorts with Knight of Kings and Cayman Moon. We knew about Cayman Moon for when we put him up at Yarmouth a couple of starts ago, a very quirky uh, sort of who's just really hard to trust. And in the end, it just set up for, for Luna Shadow and Holly Doyle, like I said, gave him a good ride. Got um got wide down uh, the home straight, um, got him into a good position and just rallied really well and stayed on strongly and was a game winner. And it looks like he is definitely a horse to follow on the all-weather. If he went back on the turf again, I would worry about him because, like I say, his, his best form had been uh, shown on the all-weather. So, yeah, that was a good result. For us there, the, the disappointment of the day was my next best at Nottingham. Our new buddy just faded away to finish outside the extra places in the end. I uh, had every chance to go and win, was just tracking the pace, but yeah, just couldn't pick up and just wasn't game enough to, to get involved um, in the finish. Uh, was through receiving plenty of weight from some of uh, the rivals today, including the winner, which was nearly a stone and a half in weight she was in receipt of. So it was a disappointing run by her, but you can't win them all. But yeah, not a bad result today with our selections. Obviously a good winning that there. And fingers crossed we can have some more winners for you tomorrow. So we're going to be going to Salisbury for my first pick tomorrow, which runs in the feature race there. It's the listed race that up Uphaven uh, Philly Stakes in the 4.15 and we're going to be going with my nap here with a horse called Technique for champion jockey Oshin Murphy who's riding for Martin Mead. Currently available at 9 to 4 at the time recording and I'm going to recommend a one point win bet with this one here. Now arguably this uh, filly brings the best form into the race after a fourth place effort at Glorious Goodwood in the Nassau Stakes where she wasn't discredited at all there behind the likes of uh, Lady Beaufort, who's been a stalwart this season at the highest level. She's been a fantastic filly, and she definitely deserved her grade, a one, group one that day. But still, nonetheless, it was a good effort by uh, Technique, who's run some good efforts in defeat this year. She finished behind Ziada on a penultimate start at Lingfield, where she was just touched off there. But there's no Ziada here to worry about. And I think dropping back into a listed race, she has a really good claim. She's the best of the three-year-olds on ratings got a fair rating of 108 and yeah I think she's got a good chance uh, in this race tomorrow receiving uh, weight as well from her elders just a lot of things in her favour tomorrow I definitely think this is the right trip if you actually look at her breeding she might be able to get a mile and a half in time but at the moment I do think that uh, this mile and a quarter trip is definitely her bag. Lady Hayes would be the, the the one I'd be most feared of, but the ground is meant to be drying out all the time at Salisbury. It's a chalk surface there, and chalk normally drains uh, quite well. So I would be worried there, because I do think she's better with a little bit of ease in the ground. So I do think uh, Technique tomorrow has it all set up for her. And I think at 9 4 there, I don't think that's a bad price at all. And I think there could be some market support for her tomorrow. She could go off 13 to 8, 6 to 4, that kind of price bracket. Because I do think she'll be uh, she'll be attracting a lot of market support there. So that's why Technique is going to be my nap of the day in the feature race at Salisbury. We then don't have to wait too long for my next best, which runs in the opening race at Foss Lass. It's in the 5.15 and I'm going with Angel's Landing for Martin Dwyer and Ian Williams. This horse at the time recording was available at 6-1 to one with William Hill. And I'm going to recommend a one-point win bet here now. Um, I think this horse, if you actually look back at the bath run last time out, actually ran a lot better than the bare form suggested. She was in good con in a good position, contesting a good finish, but in the end um, she had excuses for that race because she ended up losing a shoe. And if you go back and watch it, you can actually see that she did lose uh, a hind shoe, the vet said it after the race so yeah i do think you can uh, forgive her that run but she wasn't discredited at all and she was staying on again in the closing stages and i think that was actually quite a warm um uh, phillies race actually for the grade the winner uh, from ed walker's yard had been a previous winner last time at leicester in a good race so i don't think it was a, a bad effort at all and i do think she's definitely capable of defying a mark of 67 she's running some fair novices since and I just think some of the horses that are going to be ahead of her in the market, they've got more um, more question marks to answer. I think 
Angel's Landing does have a race in a, of uh, this nature and it's interesting as well that cheap pieces are being retained. I think they definitely worked for her last time out and I think she's uh, overpriced in this race and I think she'll go very close and I think she'll stay the trip no problem at all and see it out well and arguably she could get up to a mile and a half in time. I do think she is a filly going places considering she only made her race course, a first race course appearance a couple of months ago. I think she's heading in the right direction. I think 67 is a workable mark. Conditions should be fine. And I do think, um, yeah, there's a lot in her favour tomorrow. So for me, she's going to be my next bet of the day. That's Angel's Landing in the 5.15 at Foss Lass. So they're the two tips for tomorrow's racing. Let me know in the comments below what you'll be back in tomorrow. If you're still enjoying these videos, remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe here to my YouTube channel at LuckyLoaders15. If you want to follow me on social media, Twitter is the place to do so, where my handle is at LuckyLoader15. And if you want to find out a little bit more about myself, my website is www.chrisloaderacing.co.uk. So please gamble responsibly. Hopefully we can have a couple of winners for you tomorrow, and we'll be seeing you soon.